there's too many people trying to cheat their way into what it is that they're looking for, what it is that they want without taking, you know, just the proper course that they have to that have to do without doing their due diligence of living life according to how God planned it to be for them. And that's why so many people right now are so confused and so stressed because they've been trying to cheat life. And it's like you can't do that no matter how hard you try. Unless cheating life was a part of your plan that was ordained, then there there is no way that you can. All right, y'all. That's my spiel. You hit in the gym. It's like day. day um there, there were some workouts i couldn't record just because like i didn't have a way to prop my phone up and uh this gym doesn't allow like tripods on the floor so yeah i was innovating for a little bit and then i just was like man i'm gonna just focus on the workouts but i got most of them done I at least recorded is what i mean but I would have to say this. One of the biggest things I I don't want to say pride myself because I feel like low key like God doesn't want us to do that, but I'm gonna just use that word right now in this context. One of the biggest things I pride myself on is actually finding the discipline and the commitment to stick to the gym because that totally changed my life 100 percent But I would say this: if I didn't have my faith intact first. I don't think I would have been able to commit to the gym the way I have been committing for almost a year now. And I say that because before, like I've tried, you know, to go to the gym, I would be going for a few weeks, maybe a month or two, and then all of a sudden one little thing happens and, you know, I lose all the progress I've made. And then I go back to not going for the rest of the year or two years or whatever. But, um... And I really think when I think back on it now, I feel like it's because like I didn't have God in my life the way I do right now. So essentially, in those moments where I fell or was falling off, I fell like I fell because there was nothing there to hold me and to keep me up. And now I think the difference is, is that when I feel like I'm falling off, when I feel like I'm getting down, I get rosen up by faith and through Christ. Because y'all know the saying, all things could be done through Christ, which strengthens me. And, you know, before I used to be like, oh, that's just a, that's just a biblical reference. Like, what do these words mean? But I don't know. It's just different now. I believe in those words now because I see it happen day in and day out in my life. And I just, you know, even outside of the gym, like the way I'm living right now. I don't know. I don't think I could have I could be doing this without God. Like posting daily vlogs, going to work full time, going to school damn near full time, uh creating content outside of YouTube, finding time to be social, cooking every day, going to the gym. Uh I, some people are like, bro, that's just living your regular life. But like it is and is not. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't upkeep like this. Because it's hard. I'm not going to front. It is difficult. Like, it's extremely hard to do what you're supposed to do for some odd reason, you know? And then doing it by yourself without any, like, support physically around you. 
not trying to discredit my family, you know, who they to call and check in and stuff, but like if if I was to be sick right now, God forbid, I'm sick and there's no one here to take care of me. If something was to happen to me and I go to the hospital, I don't think unless I call them and be like, "Hey, I'm in the hospital," nobody would know. If something was to just to happen in general, like God forbid, you know, the tongue is powerful. I would have to be taking care of myself until somebody comes out here and takes care of me or supports me or whatever the case is. I share all that to say faith, y'all. Faith is really the key ingredient in pushing through your limited limits. Your limited limits. Does that even make sense? Limited limits, right? Because we limit ourselves mentally which means we start limiting ourselves emotionally and physically as well. So we limit our limit in a way. But yeah, obviously I'm feeling good. I have a lot of energy. I'm feeling jolly. I read today. I read The Power of Positive Thinking. That chapter was good today. It was about um it was about solving your personal problems and the way to do it is in like a, a few different ways which I'm going to share in a bit when I get home and get ready to go to church and then I read some passages today as well from the Bible um and that, that always anytime I start my day like that man it feels great and I suggest I right, this is I right, let me let me I'll stop yapping in a little bit but I suggest that if you're looking for a way to start your mornings I'll give you the key you could take this key and try it if you want if not it's okay but don't pick up your phone the first thing you do when you wake up i don't care what you do actually just don't pick up your phone don't scroll through instagram don't look for connections don't look for acknowledgement don't look for dopamine just start your morning slow start it extremely slow like wake up breathe look around your environment get present with you know where you are right now even if it's even if the room is dark get acquainted with the shadows there get acquainted with your own like image in the dark get acquainted with your own shadow like just you know brush your teeth maybe or or just drink a cup of coffee before you even brush your teeth then read fill your head up with some good knowledge some positive affirmations and most importantly, fill your head up with the word of God, y'all. When I start my morning off like that, when I and then on top of that, right, sometimes I'll start working on little personal projects. Like I'll start working on, you know, videos. I'll edit some things that I want to edit, a podcast episode. I'll cut some clips up or something and just, I don't know, I'll just start my day off right, you feel me? And then you pick up your phone after like two or three hours later, bro. I promise you, you'll have one of the best days you'll ever have. And now if you repeat that consistently, then you have a lot of good days in a row. So, yeah, I just got home. I'm going to get ready, make some breakfast, and head to church. Yo, the word was good today. I wish I wasn't like super shy to pull out my phone and record for a bit at church, but I feel, it just feels wrong, so I don't do it. But um, how can I recap the word today without losing y'all and stuttering and just going on a yapping spree like I always do? So, all right, let, let's hear, let's do it right here. Essentially. The word was about this. The title was, I need new relationships. And I know for the first thing that a lot of us think about, we think about romantic partners and stuff like that. And it was totally not, that's not what, that wasn't the topic of conversation. The topic was, well, he, it was a relationship in the context of how we relate to things in the world, not just people, but places, things, and even certain emotions and thought patterns and X, Y, and Z. Um, because a lot of the time we how can I <laughs> and he used a really good example he was like yo a lot of women sometimes they get upset with the person they want to be in relationship with because they have a certain expectation 
So when they don't meet the expectation, they automatically write it off, not knowing that they just had to change their relation in order to be prepared for maybe the person that is supposed to become with them. Because does that make sense, y'all? Or essentially like we create expectations in our minds because we have a certain relationship with somebody or something and when they don't meet the expectation it kind of just falls apart instead of us just maneuvering and changing our relations and how we relate to our expectations of said thing does that make sense yo if that don't make sense y'all just let me know in the comments y'all please because sometimes i feel like i'd be talking and I just don't make sense. I repeated the same thing a few times, but y'all still gonna see me struggle. I don't care. Um, <laughs> sometimes I just have to remember that I'm doing these YouTube videos literally for leisure and yeah. And you know, I'm not banking all my money on this, but if y'all so happen to get me to a million subscribers, I will not be upset. I promise you, y'all would retire me from working a real job for the rest of my life and I, and all y'all would do is see me. I'd pull seven times a day. All right, the tongue is powerful. Let me relax. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. But with that being said, today was a good day. We were really extremely productive. We woke up. We read a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, but I can't remember. I'll, I'll bet you I'll remember after we finish recording. Uh, we hit the gym, had a really good workout. Uh, made breakfast. I didn't record that because um, I just didn't have enough time to record. And we made it to church. And we still have a whole day ahead of us that we will be enjoying. And um, with that being said, thank y'all for tapping in. Thank y'all for watching me. Thank you guys for aimlessly, aimlessly, for always clicking that thumbnail and just tapping in with the boy man. Because without y'all, there will still be a me, actually. I just wouldn't be consistent as I am right now. Um, oh, and one more thing, yo. We hit 100 subs. I'll be making a video about 100 subs tomorrow. Um, but, yo, thank you to every single person who found me interesting enough to click that big red button, y'all. Like, I'm super proud of us. I say us because this is a team effort. This is not just me. This is not just daily reflections, y'all. This is daily us every single day, day in and day out, grinding, figuring life out, being okay with the circumstances we're giving in, where we are, I'm struggling to talk right now. We're giving by. I can't finish talking. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> just remember to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Take it easy. Peace.